Hello everyone, welcome to a video of Russian Fishing 4. Today I'll be teaching you how to feeder fish. Um, first of all, uh, feeder fish is uh, a way of fishing, of course. And it's an easier way of fishing, some might say. It gives you less experience, but it's easy not because it's not hard to do, but because you don't need to be as active. Because imagine, if you're like... If you're float fishing, right? If you're float fishing... Sorry. If you're float fishing, you need to go, find a spot, throw your... Ca ca cast your... Right? And just wait, watch this, see what's happening. Right? And then you, you, you really... Spin fish, it's the same. You need to throw it away. And then you need to reel it, that slowly, trying to catch a fish, you know. So, feeder fishing, it's easier for you to do. Because you can just cast your, cast, cast the, the, um, the line and just wait. You can put a bell on your uh, fishing rod and just wait for the fish to bite. And then you reel it. It's easier, I would say. Uh, it also gives you less experience. So, it depends on what you're aiming for. The thing I will tell you is, start feeder fishing only after level 7, it's when I started as well, right? I only started after level 7, because it, you need some money to do it, so you, you want to be at least... Uh, and I forgot I had those fishes here, they are... They are rotten now, anyways. Um, yep. Sad. So you need some money, you're gonna spend some money on this, so, if you don't have that spare money or don't want to spend it, then don't do it, obviously, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be telling how to do it. Anyways, uh, feeder fishing is better in a lake, where the water is still, okay? Doesn't really work as well in rivers, you can also do it in certain parts of river, but um, I would suggest you to do it in a lake. Um, I am in Mustiquito Lake, okay? When rivulet it, see... What is it? Bottom tackle. You know, feeder fishing in weather, rivulet, it's not the best. Old bark, very good. I'm not there yet, but I know they're very good because this is not only my take on it and my experience, it's also another one because I'm relatively new to the game. So, what you will do is you're gonna go to the tackle store and you will buy. So, rods, you go to feeder rods, feeder rods, and you're gonna buy this one. Expressing fishing soretto, it's by this one, of course. Um, the, the, it's the cheapest one. It doesn't really... It doesn't have that much of a difference, you know. It's longer, this one, but... Buy this one for now. Start slow. Don't wanna... Don't rush things out. You need to see if it works for you, because you might not enjoy it even, or you might not be uh, getting the results you want. So, just watch first. See if you like it. Don't go crazy. Reels, normal spinning reel, it's good. Express Fishing Spark 2, the, the cheapest one is okay. Lines, now, lines, I bought, which one did I bought? I think I bought this one, super line. Yeah, 120 meters, it's good. Is that meters? I think it is meters. It's okay, you don't need more than that. And if you want a, a better one, you can buy whatever, but this one is fine. Okay, it's fine, don't worry. It's especially for mosquito like of course if you're going to another lake where there's bigger fish you'll need better uh, uh, lines but uh, you know starting start slow as I said I'm also starting slow I'm, I didn't buy any of those crazy ones because I don't need it you know hooks now hooks you need a good hook because it's what's gonna make your fish stay or uh, go away right I bought this one because you know, here you already start to be expensive or a beginner, you know. And uh, I start this Siberian, okay, because it's not the worst, it's already good. I bought, I think, this one, this one or this one. Between 14 and 10, you want to do, you want to buy one of these ones. Uh, I bought 12, I think. I think that's what I bought. Uh, I will check, okay. Lures, there's no lures, we're going to use bait. Baits, it depends on the type of fish you want to ca uh, cut, 
Mosquito Lake, brother, only use worms. You don't even need to bottom. You can just have a shovel and you just dig it up. It's free. So, I mean, if you want to try, because the thing about fishing is that you have to try. You never know. So try different things. I suggest worms, but if you want to try, oh, I have some porridge. I want to try it. Try it. It might work. Every day is different. The fish feel different every day. So you need to try. Same way as spots. You need to try different spots. Nothing is 100% sure. Okay. Now, there's a lot of... Here, you'll need... Guys, now the sinkers bought by this one. It's um, the smallest one. Don't really need to worry about that. Just the smallest one. Just the beginning, okay? And then you're set. Ready to go. You assemble your rod. Like the one I have here. With me. You assemble it. And the thing is, there's a lot of ways you can you can feed your fish, right? Look at the many ways you can do it. I'm here with the uh, bottom fishing, right? This, but there's a lot of different uh, setups that you can use. Uh, a lot of different ones, man. Look how many ones you can do. Uh, this is the easiest one for starters. Uh, also the the cheapest one, and that's what I'm doing. And now, how will you do it? Now that's very easy. You just need to find a spot. You can you can just cast it into the middle if you want. If if you want to cast it into the middle, you can do that. So guys, it really is. You just cast it, and now you you want to put it on a floor if you want. You can do it on your hand, but you can do it on the floor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna close the the reel, which is already closed, right? Clicking uh, K, and then you're gonna reel in until the line it's until the line is. You see, no, is in ten. Sorry, guys. I just uh, there. And they're gonna reel in until the line is stiff, right? It's intention. I think you can say this way. But, uh, you see how it is? It's intention. And now you just need to wait, man. You can put a bell on top of it and just be here. Do whatever you want. Go on your phone. Do whatever you want. And then when you hear the bell, ding, 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 ding you go. And uh, you fish. There's no fish in here, probably. I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything. I can wait for you guys to see if I can catch anything. I doubt it. Because, you know, fish... That's a whole other video that I can do for you. How to catch, how to find fish. Which is... Kinda, it's, it's not that easy, okay? It's not that easy as it looks. Um, you cannot just... I mean, you could just cast it into the middle and wait. And a comfortable amount of time until you catch something, but you can also, you know, go to these cards, see the latest hotspots, do all of that stuff, uh, see the spots where the fish usually are. I mean, I cast it into here because I cast it into here because see, there's a there's this. Um, wait, yes, I caught a fish. Okay, I was seeing why did this take so long. I caught a fish. It's a shiny slipper, I think. Shiny slipper, yeah. Pretty small fish. But you see, you can just do this. As you've seen, I, I, put, I cast it in here. Because there's a lot of this... Because like in real life, fish like to be around these... Uh, objects, I guess. I don't know how you call this. Like this vegetation in the water. Also, if there's logs in the water... Fish, fish, fish like to be in that spot. Um, but yeah, you ca you find a spot where it's good, or you just see someone doing, and you see, okay, this is a good spot, and then you can cast it there, and you can um, do it if you want. You can just cast into the middle and wait. But it's gonna take more time than if you just go to a place where you know that there's fish, and then you be there. You know, why can I not? Brother, what, what is going on? Okay, so again, close reel and reel in. Can I speed reel in? No, I can. And reel in until the line is in tension, stiff. See? And I'll just wait. That's basically all what feeder fishing is. So. At Another thing you can do, it's like you'd be feeder fishing, right? Like this. 
And then you grab your floating rod. You grab your floating rod. And you put it in the water. And you just wait. Oh, sorry. Put it in the water. And you just wait. You know. Uh, and you can do two things at the same time, right? So, it's like an advantage. There's an advantage. To it. Right. Um... But yeah, that's basically what feeder fishing is all about. Uh, but obviously, if you don't go to a good spot, you're not going to catch any fish. You cannot just simply go here, cast it, and just wait for something to happen. Oh, look, I caught a fish now. I was lucky. I think I caught a fish. Or am I just crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Wait. Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. There's a fish. What the hell just happened? Brother, I have no idea. Did I... Did my line got caught on something? I swore... I swear there was a fish. I think he just... Free himself. I have no idea what just happened. Anyways, guys. That's basically how to feed a fish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more videos of... Russian Fishing 4... Then you just ask. If you want a, f a video of how to catch a fish. How to find a fish. Uh... Leave that in the comments. Uh, keep in mind that I'm still a beginning. I'm also learning. This is just for a person who are really, really starting. So if you have any tips or anything I did wrong, anything you want to correct, make sure to leave that in the comments for the people to see. Like someone saw this video and they go to the comments and like, oh, this I might, I, I should do this, you know. So leave the comments of what you think. And yeah, that's it. Hope you like it and bye bye.